This has got to be one of the best intros I've ever seen on any video game as I sit here and I look at this and think, my God, I'd actually like to have a house where the port's pointing right out where we're looking right now. Hey, what up, peeps, and welcome back to another episode of Cable Plays, Cable Plays Red Dead Redemption. Look at us in our spiffy new outfit, the Assassin's uh, outfit. Uh, I like that. I don't really care for the eye patch much, but uh, I do like everything else about it. It's really kind of slick looking to me. So, last episode, well, let's see, the episode before last, we saved Miss Barley, Bonnie McFarland's butt. And then uh, last episode, we actually took care of Mr. West Dickens' uh, second mission. And now here we are back in Armadillo because we got to go meet Seth. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Yeah, we've, we've pretty much taken care of almost everything in this area that we need to take care of uh, as far as... Um, Uh, really, bro? We've almost taken care of just about everything else that we needed to take care of in this area as far as challenges are concerned. We do need to go and uh, deal with uh, some outfits, but as I had explained before... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I had to hit the emergency cough button. Um... Yeah, um, but uh, we're going to be doing some missions that take us over into those areas, so not really worried about it. Alright, well, we need to go get into this challenge, because nobody calls me Yeller. Lloyd rules. The last challenge that I accepted, I didn't do too well. I drew too early and got shot down. That's what I was looking for. Ugh. Always rides a little too far away, don't he? Is the movie house open? Let's go. Let's watch a movie. We haven't watched the movie. Are we ordering a racker out of the next witch book? The dangers of doctoring. The sad part about this one with the remedies, um, they're trying to parody what's happening with West Dickens, uh, but they're also making light of the things that actually occurred back in the West. Uh, revitalizing Squig, 98% morphine. Yeah, that was that was real stuff back in the day. Um, there was a bottle that somebody had posted on Facebook that was a cure-all. It had cannabis and morphine and cocaine and uh, a bunch of stuff all like rolled in like they were suing like on the, on the label it showed the percentages that was medicine <laughs>
That was the primary medicine of the West there. Medical science cannot save you. <laughs> Greeting, sir. All right, now let's go get Seth. Zooming and other fine hobbies. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We... Need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never! Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. 
And what map's that, then? The map, partner! The map that tells me where it is! Well, what the is precious! It, I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner! <laughs> it's mine! It's mine! All mine! <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. Really didn't get those point lights right. That did, you know, really did look like a lantern there. I mean, the light probably could have been a little softer, but not too bad. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream and when we wake up, We'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Yeah! Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. There's no difference between night and day. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Okay. Well, that was a little weird. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill.
This is one god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Stay away from them animals! Hey, what the hell are you doing? Take your punishment like you deserve! Oops. Seriously? What the crap? This is one god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Are you looking for trouble, mister? Get away from him, Hart! Let's go! You know what? That's fine. I'm just going to steal the horse and lose the law. Oh, that bounty of mine. getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! What's this got to do with you? Come on! Get away from me! God damn you! Why are you doing this? Why do you think? Cause it's fun. What's he paying you? I'll give you double. We'll split it between us, just me and you. You son of a bitch, let me go. <laughs> That's not exactly what they meant by riding the rails. Who do you think you are, mister? <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't find you, Moses? Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! <laughs> You've always been a twisting little freak! 
I ain't telling you shit. Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's gone crazy in the sun. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. Uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself. Moses? Mm. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Mm. I got two pardon letters. Come on. We can pay mm. it off in the telegraph office. Fortunately, I can pay all my stuff with cash. Best we deal with this now, mister. Never leave home without it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not waiting for Seth. Seth walks too damn slow. Hello there. That crazy Mary swear. This is to clear my name. This here's a fresh start. Don't do nothing. Go on then, you can clear it up the desk. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. Seth has a nasty old nag. There be a question mark. Oh, I think this is the guy we start. Oh God, sir. Did you break you? Some treasures here? My, my, take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? You look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. That's a reference to uh tough but with a heart of gold. The quieter sings his lonely song. Lone like, um not wider. The like tombstone. That's just capital. Excuse me. Oh, well. Nothing. I, I was just bye. writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my mom felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing Jimmy. the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm going to find, too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm going to have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> I think that's part of the the California dreaming or whatever. Hello there. I'm sorry, pal. Go. Well, all righty. So we started off in another side quest, and we've gone ahead and taken care of uh, meeting Mr. Seth. Now it's time for us to get back over to Armadillo, I do believe, and then from there we will go ahead and take care of another mission through, uh, excuse me, not through, but for Mr. Wes Dickens. But I think for now we're going to go ahead and call this particular episode Finite. Tell you guys what, this has been Cable Dog for Cable Plays, and I sure do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today, especially if you were here during the live Twitch streams. 
appreciate everything you guys do as far as support for me. And uh, we'll catch you next time, peeps. We'll catch you next time.